Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got these uh, green and uh, yellow triangles uh, fully confined in a right triangle uh, ABC, as you can see in this uh, diagram. Such that both of these uh, triangles, this green one and the yellow one, are isosceles uh, triangles. And now we are going to calculate our angle uh, X. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Please keep in your mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here's our very first step. Let's focus on this uh, green triangle. And we know that this is an isosceles triangle since this side length equal to this side length. So therefore, uh, this angle has got to be equal to this angle let me go ahead and label this angle as an alpha then this angle has got to be alpha as well and here's our next step let's focus on this uh, yellow triangle uh, now and we know that this is also an isosceles uh, triangle since this side length uh, equals to this side length so therefore uh, this angle has got to be equal to this angle let me call this angle uh, beta then this angle has got to be beta as well. And now let's focus on this uh, big uh, triangle uh, ABC. We know that this angle is uh, 90 degrees. Let me go ahead and label uh, this angle as our angle uh, Y and this angle as our angle uh, Z. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, green triangle uh, once again. And now let's recall uh, triangle sum theorem. According to this theorem, the sum of the three interior angles in a triangle is always uh, 180 degrees. So therefore, the sum of all these uh, three angles in this uh, green triangle uh, must be 180 degrees. So therefore, let me go ahead and write down uh, Y plus angle alpha plus angle alpha must be equal to 180 degrees. Let's simplify this thing. This is going to give us y plus uh, 2 alpha equals to 180 degrees. Let's go ahead and move this uh, 2 alpha on the right hand side. So therefore our uh, y angle is going to be 180 degrees minus uh, 2 alpha. Let me go ahead and call this our equation number one. And now let's focus uh, on this uh, yellow triangle once again. And now let's recall uh, this uh, triangle sum theorem once again. According to this theorem, the sum of all these uh, three angles in this uh, yellow triangle is going to be equal to 180 degrees. So therefore, let me go ahead and write down uh, this angle uh, Z plus angle beta plus beta once again equals to 180 degrees. Let's go ahead and combine the like terms on the left hand side. Z plus 2 beta equals to 180 degrees. Let's move this 2 beta on the right hand side. So therefore our angle Z is going to be 180 degrees minus 2 times beta. Let me call this as our equation number 2. And finally, let's focus on this uh, big right triangle ABC. And let's recall this uh, triangle sum theorem once again. That means the sum of all these three angles, this 90 degree angle plus angle Y plus angle Z must be equal to 180 degrees. So therefore, we can write angle Y plus angle uh, Z plus uh, 90 degrees has got to be equal to 180 degrees. Now let's go ahead and subtract 90 degrees from both sides. This is gone. So therefore Y plus Z turns out to be equal to 90 degrees. Now we can see from equation 1 and 2 we got these uh, Y and uh, Z values in terms of alpha and beta, we are going to replace them over here. So let's go ahead and substitute these values. Let's uh, replace uh, Y, this one value, which is uh, 180 degrees 
minus 2 alpha plus now let's replace this z by this one let me go and write down 180 degrees minus 2 beta equals to 90 degrees now let's go ahead and combine the like terms 180 degrees and 180 degrees is going to give us 360 degrees minus 2 alpha minus 2 beta equals to 90 degrees and now let's go ahead and subtract 360 degrees from both sides this is gone so we got negative 2 alpha minus 2 times beta turns out to be equal to negative 270 degrees and now we can see that this equation is divisible by 2 across the board so let me go ahead and divide by negative 2 negative 2 and negative 2 once again on both sides and here this negative 2 and negative 2 is gone we got uh, alpha and this is going to give us uh, plus uh, beta equals to on the right hand side that is going to give us 135 degrees let me go ahead and call this our equation uh, number three and here's our final step let's focus on this whole state angle that has got to be 180 degrees and this straight angle uh, consists of these three angles angle alpha angle beta and angle x so therefore i can write uh, this uh, angle x plus uh, angle alpha plus angle beta is equal to 180 degrees and now let's focus on this part alpha plus beta from equation 3 this is equal to 135 degrees so therefore i'm gonna replace this by 135 degrees so therefore let me write down x plus 135 degrees equals to 180 degrees and now let's subtract 135 degrees from both sides this is gone so therefore our this angle x turns out to be 45 degrees so therefore our this angle x turns out to be 45 degrees so thus our angle x turns out to be 45 degrees and that's our final answer Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.